Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the DNS API DLL is missing error you are experiencing on your Windows computer. So this stands for the DNS Client API DLL, and this is a part of the Windows operating system. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump into it and we're going to be using the system file checker tool within the Windows operating system that we are going to be launching with the command line window in order to hopefully be able to fix it for most of you guys and without further ado let's jump right into it so we're going to begin by typing in CMD into the star menu best match should come back with command prompt you want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator if you receive a user account control window you want to select yes so now in this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC, all lowercase, and then a space, forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word here, attached to that forward slash we typed in right before. So then once you have it exactly how it appears on my screen, you want to hit enter on your keyboard. So this will begin a system scan. And hopefully, if it does find anything, you'll get a little error message, or not really an error message, I should say, but an output saying that Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files. And I would hope that it would be followed by it would saying that it has successfully repaired them. So hopefully, at that point, you would just restart your computer, and hopefully the issue you're experiencing with this specific DLL file has been resolved. Now, this will also scan for other issues, so if there's other things wrong with your computer, maybe it'll pick them up as well. So it's definitely a nice little feature that's built into the Windows operating system. It's, it's a pretty common utility if, if you guys aren't familiar with it. So again, I do hope this tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.